We all use technology every day in our lives, but as teachers, when we're going to be using technology, it's really wonderful when we can implement that into our classrooms and we can make our classrooms better. So today I'm going to be talking about how I use some of my Apple technology in my classroom and how it's very beneficial and helpful. I'll be talking about the different uh, pieces of hardware that you would need if you were going to do something like this and then also how you can implement that into the software as well as some of the various things that you can do with it. So first of all, I'll talk about the hardware that I have here. So I have the 2015 iPad uh, Pro. This is the 12.9 inch and I have the Apple Pencil. I also have an Apple TV. Now my Apple TV, uh, as you can see here, which version my Apple TV is. It's not the latest version. It's the one that's prior to uh, the several versions that they have available now. So now what I have here is I have my Apple TV that's connected here to my projector and I'll show you how that works up here in just a moment. So there's an HDMI input into the projector. There's an HDMI output on the Apple TV. So what you'll do is you'll drop down your control center and you'll go to screen mirroring. So one thing I didn't realize until I went to start making the video is that when you're going to do a screen recording on your iPad, like I was going to try to show you how I'm doing each of the steps on here, it will not allow me to do that while also connected and displaying my screen externally. All right, so now you can see what's happening here is that I'm projecting my screen wirelessly onto my projector through the Apple TV. And so this gives you a lot of options here. So first of all, I'm going to talk about the way that I do my notes and how I would give students notes that I would have handwritten or that I would give them notes that they need to take. So I use an app called Notability. So Notability is a very powerful tool. It allows you to do screen record. It allows you to do uh, note taking with the, the Apple Pencil as well as importing all, to, all kinds of things. So this is uh, relating to your science. So let's say you're teaching uh, your course. So one of the things that's nice about this is it gives you something that you have wirelessly and you're actually writing on the board. And so one of the ways that you can help to control your classrooms and so on is uh, by your proximity to the students. And so sometimes you'll have an issue that's happening and without ever having to stop the class, without ever having to disrupt your teaching, you can move closer to that student while you're teaching and uh, continue writing notes. They realize that you're standing next to them and that there's some kind of a problem and sometimes that can help to eliminate problems without ever interrupting the class flow or other things. One thing nice about my particular projector, a lot of projectors have a similar feature, you have to see if yours does or not, is that you have the ability to freeze a screen and then do something separate on your device. So you can see what I'm able to do here is freeze the screen where the notes were, get my iPad to the next place that I want the students to see, and now I can display that onto the board and I can show the students what it was that I'm trying to demonstrate to them. So another nice thing about being able to do things along this line is, let's say you have a PowerPoint presentation that you want to display. So this allows you to have a presentation view on your screen and only displaying what you want on the screen out here. So now, once again, I'm able to wirelessly walk around the room without having any cords attached or so on. I can adjust what's going on on the uh, projector screen just from wirelessly transmitting here. Now, here's another nice feature of having the Apple Pencil is it allows you to make notes right on the right on the iPad. Now, you may or may not want your particular personal device to be handed around to various students, but here's another really interesting feature is that it allows you using these devices to kind of quiz the students or to allow the students to even do some things. Sometimes I've done this where I'll have the students, I'll take the iPad to whoever would like to try to answer a question set it on the desk, give them the, the Apple Pencil, and allow them to write in the uh, answers. So now all the students are able to interact this way as well. So again, this gives another different way as far as interacting with the students and allowing them to do various things with the technology just gives an interesting flow on working with teaching them and, and giving them review. 
Now, here's another very interesting thing that I do. I'm a science teacher, and so if you've ever had to do any types of demonstrations in your classroom, you will understand if you have a large classroom, it's very difficult for all the students to be able to see the demonstration and understand what you're doing. And so when you have this type of a setup, one of the really neat things that you're able to do is you're able to employ the camera that's built into the device. And so now what this does is this allows you to set up an iPad. It allows you to set the iPad at a specific location or a specific area. And now you can perform your demo while the students are watching. But instead of being able, having to try to gather around the demo that you're performing on the table or, what, or whatever, the students are able to actually watch the demo on the large projector screen. So now as you can see here, as you're performing this particular demo, now the students are able to see on the screen what is happening and at a much larger scale. Also, if you have the ability to, uh, to zoom on your projector, this is another nice feature. So again, it allows you, it gives you the uh, ability to demonstrate to the entire class what's happening over here. And again, you're just using the built-in camera that's already attached to the iPad, and it gives you some really neat methods or really neat ways of being able to demonstrate to your class. Also, since I teach science classes, another thing that I really like about this is that different apps that you have available that give you the ability to do uh, 3D animations and so on. This is an app that I use for my anatomy and physiology class. And so now, once again, you're able to continue walking around the room, continue interacting with the students while you're able to display this 3D model up on the board. And it allows you, it would again allow you to do some types of review. You could ask students to choose a particular part of the cell that you want to talk about. And it's also interactive. Once again, it depends on the type of app that you're working with as to how interactive this allows you to be. So that's some of what I use my iPad, my Apple TV, and my pencil for in my classroom. If there's other things that you've done along a similar line and you would like to drop some of those ideas down in the comments below, I'd love to hear about them. If you have any questions or things that you're interested in learning more about how this works and giving, getting some more information, put those questions down in the comments as well. I'll try to answer them as quickly as I can. And uh, hopefully we'll uh, continue on doing with more of this in the future. As I said, I plan to try to do some other videos along the lines of Android software, as well as potentially some Microsoft uh, applications as well. And so if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and look down there in the, in the comments for the different devices that I'm using and uh, links that you could find those as well. If you want to help to support the channel, uh, you can follow those links to Amazon, make some purchases, and that helps me out as well. But uh, hopefully enjoy this video, and we'll see you again next time.